Uh, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It is my pleasure today to be with you and present the proposed aid and financing structure for Somalia. Two decades of humanitarian and development assistance in the absence of a recognized central government have weakened accountability and transparency over the use of public resources. In the place of the national institutions, parallel delivery mechanisms have developed. Funding instruments, joint programs, and NGO projects which have fragmented institutional responsibilities and accountability. The elaboration of a new financial architecture in Somalia in line with the New Deal principles and agreed as part of an international compact with Somalia is understood by the government and the development partners as a fundamental driver of a successful and durable transition. In light of this government has proposed a, a Somali development and reconstruction fa facility as a component of the compact. The federal government of Somalia and de development partners agree to establish the Somalia development and reconstruction facility as a centerpiece of the New Deal partnership and in order to enhance the delivery of effective assistance to all Somalis. Closely aligned with the Somalia Compact principles, the SDRF will serve as a mechanism for the federal government of Somalia to see and guide the diverse activities of these development partners. The SDRF establishment will be pragmatic and gradual, allowing for a steady transition towards full operational effectiveness, based on capacity and performance. The key objectives of the SDRF will be to align resources behind the critical Somali priorities set out and agreed in this compact and ensure follow-up and monitoring of their delivery. To develop sustainable institutional capacity within Somali authorities by putting Somali institutions in the lead. To facilitate a transition towards the full use of the country PFM systems by establishing and strengthening those systems, starting with the national budget framework. To increase the transparency and accountability of the delivery and management of international assistance in Somalia. And lastly, to reduce transaction costs by pooling funds and through harmonized results reporting. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to take part of this speech to set out our ambitions clear, clearly so that we all have a collective understanding of the journey we are engaged on. The New Deal principles and the articulation of the compact are foundational to this. The peace and state building goals will guide our work and we are committed to the principles of focus and building trust. It may be worthwhile at this juncture to remind ourselves of some of the fundamental principles to which uh, of us in this room are committed. The commitment to the New Deal was made by many of you. Focus is about engaging to support country-led and country-owned transitions out of fragility. The compact is fundamental to that, but so too is the development of our plan. In this regard, we have developed an economic recovery plan and priorities, which in itself is a priority of this government. We look for reassurance from our partners in this room that they will both support in this economic recovery plan and commit to aligning their own programs of support with this plan. My own personal focus will be to ensure that this plan is implemented in an inclusive way and is ready waiting for your comment by the end of this month. Trust is key for the New Deal. Again, this describes actions that I and the government will take, will take part, will take, but also actions by you and the international community. Our collective commitment to this will be a key criteria for the success of our journey together. In terms of transparency, 
The government is committed to taking forward the following actions through the PFM reform strategy and action plan with the assistance of the development partners. We intend to improve transparency and openness of the national budget process, enhance physical discipline through internal and external controls, focus public expenditure on priority areas of government programs, enhance efficiency and effectiveness of public expenditures and strengthen overall financial management and accountability. In line with our commitments on our side, I would like to the international com community to be as transparent as possible in terms of its aid flow, both domestically and within Somalia, and also externally. Restoring confidence in Somalia is at the heart of this trust principle. And I wanted to bring forward the day when every dollar spent can be confidently allocated, accounted for, and reported on. Our country has been characterized by mistrust for so long, and building and demonstrating transparency must be a hallmark of our journey together. On risky sharing, let's pause on this aspect of trust. I suspect many of you may be thinking that operating in Somalia context is associated with high level of risk. There are risks, but settlement in the New Deal is about risk sharing, sharing the burden. Many of you are concerned about government systems and of the recent report is describing weaknesses. Let me take some time to spell out what we have done <laughs> to address those weaknesses. 2012 audit annual financial statement prepared and established in our website. Double interim accounting has been introduced through an interim financial management system, planned introduction of a centralized payment system and revenue collection using treasuring sing, a treasury single account will improve cash management. The interim financial management information system has embedded budget controls and audit trails and will also improve the timelines and availability of information for decision making and will increase transparency through timely publication of physical reports. An external assistance fiduciary section is being established to allow for increased use of country systems in line with the New Deal principles. An audit bill is being developed to strengthen the independence of the Office of Auditor General. Recruitment of professionally qualified accountant general and auditor general is ongoing. On the strengthening country systems, this is an area of major challenge, but we are rising to it. The special financial facility has just started, and that is an early demonstration of what is possible and practicable in our situation. One major achievement recently is the first salary payment launched, again, uh, uh, launched August 28th. In this scheme, we paid three agencies, Minister of Financial Planning, Accounting General, and Auditor General, which is the first regularized salary payment for a long time. For, for a, a long time. Over the next few months, we will be scaling in other government agencies over the next few months, while at the same time building upon core government payroll process, as well as enhancing biometric system linked with civil servant registry. The SRDF with its separate windows will also help us use and strengthen our systems and the facility retains considerable flexibility while maintaining a clear and agreed overreaching framework. One challenge we would like to make to the international partners is to request that all programs explicitly address how they will both use and strengthen the government systems and build up the capacity and capability of the human capital in Somalia. This ultimately is our greatest asset and while delivering tangible security and services is vital for the government, we wanted to do so in a way that progressively allows us to stand on our own 
feed. There are other areas we also need to address here, namely the reduction of program implementation units, remuneration codes between government and partners, and increasing our exposure to other countries on a similar journey to ours. All of these are specifically mentioned in the New Deal, and I look to those of us who have made commitments to these principles to work with us in Somalia to, then, to turn them into practice. We are on this journey together. The task and the challenge is fast, and so we must ensure that we maximize the impact of everything we do. One area I would like to see some action on is procurement. This will be a fundamental part of our reconstruction. We need to look at the use of emergency procurement process, drawing on the experience of procurement in Afghanistan. I would like to see expertise on procurement on the ground in Mogadishu helping us meet procurement criteria rather than being deployed, criticizing our process in capitalists. This will be a tangible way of demonstrating general risk sharing. Again, procurement is an area that was explicitly mentioned in the New Deal document. We are all agreed on the principles, hence our shared commitment to taking forward the New Deal. The Compact and SDRF are the steps we now need to take to translate these into Somali realities. I hope this short presentation has done three things. Demonstrated the commitment of the Somali government, to, uh, for, uh, federal government of Somalia to taking forward development both by what we have already achieved and put in place, and also by the actions that we are taking in the next six months or so to translate these commitments into tangible outcomes. Reminded you of the commitments you have made to the New Deal and identified some of the ways these commitments need to be translated into action. Most importantly, set out some of the detail of the SDRF, which I believe provides the vehicle for us to share in the journey we are all, all embarked on. This is a challenging journey with many twists and turns and disappointments along the way. However, I fundamentally believe that we are better together as we live up to our commitments and focus on our responsibilities, and I trust that you will do the same. After all, our success is measured by delivering the commitment we are all making to Somali people. Thank you very much. Well, uh, let's hope that we have less disappointments uh, on our journey as possible. Um, but now I have the honor to give the floor to Marianne Wasim, uh, Minister for Human Development and Public Services of the Federal Government of Somalia. Please, Minister. <laughs> 